Good morning and welcome to Easy Drupal. So today we are continuing our D7 to D9 migration series. Um, so if you remember in the last episode, we managed to get some content across, but we were missing the images. So rather than manually add them, which would be a pain, uh, I'm gonna try and write something that will bring these in automatically. So the way I'm gonna do this, hopefully, is using a module on the D7 site called Views Data Source. So what this does is just adds a Views plugin that allows you to output data as JSON, which you can then read in to read into the D9 side and hopefully go and grab the images. That's the plan anyway. Let's see how we get on. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna download this. It is only an alpha release, but I have used it before and it does work. So I have installed the Views Data Source module. Um, and now we just need to turn on the plug plugin, which is the JSON one that I'm interested in. While that's installing, I'll just tell you about my new hosting service that I've set up in conjunction with 20i. Um, it's aimed at Drupal uh, sites such as this one. You can set up your basic hosting from $4.95 a month or $14.95 a month, which includes my support. So I can help you set your site up. Uh, if you visit easydrupal.co.uk, you can uh, select a package from there. Thanks very much, plug over. I'll leave a link down below. Okay, so that's now set up. We go to our views. I've already set up a basic view called JSON images. And hopefully we should now, once this is loaded, have a display option of JSON data. So if we apply that to all displays, uh, so I'm gonna have to play around with this because I can't quite remember. So we're only actually going to be extracting the title and the URL of any images. Uh, let's see what we get. We'll uh, see what this looks like. So at the moment, we've got nodes, which is the outer wrapper, and then each node. So we can do a for each node in nodes, uh, grab the title, and then we're gonna add the images now, hopefully. So that's a new field. I think I've actually got two image fields, which I'm gonna to need to deal with. I think I need to set up a relationship to get the actual URL of the image for each of those. Actually, it'll be two separate relationships. Uh, no, I can do two at the same time. Okay, hopefully that will now give me access to the URL. So I've incorrectly done that wrong. So I can add the um, other in images. Now I've added a relationship. I can add the images and the other images. And in this case, I think I need Not sure how I'm going to do that with multiples, but let's have a look and see what that gives me. So yeah, I'm giving getting a, an array of the main image, which I can then find the source, and then other images, of which there will be more than one, or could be more than one. And again, I've got the source URL there. Okay, so that's what I need for my JSON. Uh, we can make that a little bit nicer by just doing instead of nodes we can call this vehicles don't have to do this just looks a bit neater so we can do for each vehicle in vehicles that should change our json accordingly here so we've now got for each vehicle some vehicles and we can do for each vehicle in vehicles we can then get the main image source other images source and so on Okay, so that's how we uh, find the data. Now we've got to work out a way of importing it. You'll see that I've got a path of slash JSON images, which if we put that into our main site, we can see the JSON there. Quick tip for you, if you want to actually view JSON, it's sometimes better to view it in um, Firefox because you get a nice formatting. 
Okay, so in the next video, I'll write something that will import these images into our Drupal 9 site. Okay, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.